Welcome to GVTV. I'm John Meadows here with Natalia Barr. This weekend, the Eagles football team took home a victory against Savannah High School, beating them 23 to 17. Soccer won 2 to 0 against Warrensburg, and volleyball plays here tomorrow at home. The four-time state champs are preparing the state again this weekend. Cheer for your cheer team this weekend at Mizzou. Don't forget to support your Eagle teams. Speaking of supporting, make sure your teachers are supporting autism this week by donating $5 and wearing jeans. And for all you middle schoolers in the musical, make sure you bring in lab coats. The musical is in need of 10 more. Believe it or not, there's always something to do here in the Grain Valley community. Starting August 27th, the community center is hosting a Cario Box Fitness Club. You can register online or just walk in and work out. It's only $5 and it ends October 3rd. The community center is also hosting a fall karate class for kids three and older. The classes will be held from October 1st to December 10th. And for the little kids, there will be crafts and snacks on September 18th. Or you can come to Tot Time on Tuesdays and Thursdays where the little ones can play around in the community gym. So fall is just around the corner and that means so is Halloween. On October 21st, the annual scarecrow making contest will begin. Make a scarecrow and turn it in by October 29th. The best scarecrow will win a $40 gift card to Target. Pumpkins are another sign of Halloween. Dress up and come down to the community center on October 22nd and participate in pumpkin decorating contests for little kids. And since everyone loves candy, you should join your Grain Valley community down at Armstrong Park on October 26th and participate in the hunt for hidden candy. Don't forget your flashlights. Another way to earn extra candy before Halloween is head on down to the Butterfly Trail on October 29th and trick or treat with your community. Also, the Community Center has been hosting Thursday Night Basketball for anyone who wants to come. That's all for today's announcements, but now we have some news about our lunches and upcoming 2013 homecoming. First, we'll head to the lunchroom with Emma. Thanks, Natalia. I'm here with Gwen. How many students do you see come through the lunch line on a typical day? About 350. What's the most popular food item purchased? I would say pizza and ice cream. Thank you. Is it difficult to keep up with all the students coming through the lunch line at once? It can be sometimes, but it helps to have two sides open with multiple people serving. How do you make sure you have enough food to feed all of the hungry teenagers? We make what we think we need, and then in between shifts we make more if we need it. Thank you. Be sure to thank the sweet ladies who prepare lunch for you. Without them, none of us would have the meal that energizes us through the rest of the school day. Back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Rachel. And now to Chandler talking about Spirit Week. Thanks guys, September 30th starts off our homecoming week. Don't forget about Spirit Week. Monday is America Monday, Tuesday is Tractor Tuesday, Wednesday is Way Back Wednesday, Thursday is Class Theme Day, and Friday is Blue and White Day. And don't forget your class themes. Seniors are the Wizard of Oz, juniors are Grease, and sophomores are Lion King, and freshmen is Hairspray. And now back to Sarah with more homecoming information. Thanks Chandler. Homecoming Day, October 5th, will be starting off with the parade at 10 o'clock a.m. Be sure to get there early so you can see all the great floats and don't miss it. If you are interested in participating in the parade and want a float to be shown, you may fill out this order form here by September 27th. After the parade, the game will kick off at 1 o'clock against the Harrisonville Wildcats. Be sure to get your eyes in apparel so you can wear it to the football game. Following the football game, the homecoming dance starts at 8 o'clock. Tickets are $5. Thanks, guys. Hope to see you there. Back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Sarah. That's all for today. But before you go, make sure to follow Eagle Media on Twitter, friend us on Facebook, and subscribe to us on YouTube. See you next time. Stay classy, Grain Valley.